What's up guys, it's Hamburgerhead and time for engine number three, the four cylinder overhead cam. This engine, like the one and two cylinder, benefit from the new piston and crankshaft along with the new valves. But on this engine, if you look closely, are upside down. Still works, but it's upside down. Now, this engine moves a lot faster than the original en engine, or original version of it. And if you look, there's not as many support pillars here. When I took some of those out, instant difference in how fast it moved. Other than that, and all the other upgrades the engines have gotten, hasn't changed much. But earlier today, I built this intake right here. It is a dual vacuum intake. So basically my normal throttled intake is time two. And then I have this like temporary connector so I can throttle them differently if I wanted to. But keep it connected. You can throttle them both. I tried it. And yeah, and I'll go through this one little hole. Like it basically it goes in and then out. It did not go well. I had two vacuums of similar-ish performance on this and this was hooked up to the four cylinder it did not go well nothing broke it just did not run very fast and then I took it off run it like I normally do <laughs> ten times better I don't even know why I tried of course not again kinda had to so what I might end up doing is I might just build a standard single intake whatever and then run it that way might help a little bit, but it's still not quite fast enough to get its own throttle, in my opinion. I don't know how I'll get it much faster, but it's great right now. Like, not much friction, but unlike the other 200, still it still maintains the, the rubber on the flywheel for that extra added weight. Kind of helps with the centrifugal force and whatever. Uh, I'm going to leave off the timing chain cover like I have in the previous video. And the top... Uh, cylinder head but before I run it I just want to mention that in the previous video someone mentioned that this wasn't a true overhead cam that's true to an extent the way an actual overhead cam works is it goes up like this and then there's the camshaft now the camshaft has things like these like these little throwouts but they don't connect to connect to the pit the not piston and valve it pushes down on a rod similar to uh, this, it pushes down on it, which is basically the valve, and then the valve opens inside the cylinder, and then that's how intake goes in. Now I tried that, I built a, a four cylinder with that kind of overhead cam design, this was pre two cylinder timeline, this was a couple years ago, but uh, it didn't go too well, because I had a rubber band as my valve spring to push it back up. I didn't have enough chain to run it at the time, and I was impatient. So what I did is I just turned the camshaft by hand and spun the flywheel with the vacuum attached. Now if I had enough chain, it probably could have worked a little better. But what ended up happening is, as a uh, valve would get pushed down, the vacuum would hold it down. It wouldn't go back up. Or the van wouldn't push it back up. Now I thought, well, I could increase the what you could call spring rate, like how many rubber bands, so it gets pushed up easier. But then the engine has to deal with pushing it back down, which that would have been an issue. So I just scrapped the idea, built the two cylinder, and then later on down the line I built this. This is much better. So for that person who commented saying it wasn't a true overhead cam, it is to an extent because the cam is over the top of the engine. So you're right and you're wrong. I'm right and I'm wrong. So 50-50 win. We both win, we both lose. But, let's run it. I use a fancy little trick to get it run a little quicker by using a tire as a rubber seal. Ah, ah noise. Ah, there we go. And there we go. As you can tell, much quicker than the original.
Impressive, right? Maybe not so much to you, but it is for me. Because, like I mentioned in my previous video, all engines that are claimed to be overhead cam four cylinders do not show visual proof or yeah it's pretty much it they just don't show visual proof either either that or their overhead valves which is a little different which is the cam off to the side usually gear driven and then the up and over which my favorite four cylinder that kind of inspired me to do this is that way and just gotta continue making this one better so I can compete now when I built this one I didn't have enough or when I made the new crankshaft and pistons whatever I didn't have enough pieces to use this kind, this piece right here, so I'll improvise. So, I don't know if you will we'll see it, but if you look in there, okay, maybe not that cylinder, you can kind of see it. It's a little bit narrower, a little different, I'm wiggling it a little bit. You can kind of see my carpet reflection in my basement. Yeah, you can kind of see it, right? You get... I'm trying to see it. Oh well. It's not exactly the same. A little different, but it serves the same purpose. But that's pretty much it. This is also really good with uh, the three-speed manual. It chugs too with the low speed that it has. Now if you don't think the speed's impressive, check out the original video. It's a lot better. Trust me. Anyway, that's about it. Um... That's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I will talk to you guys later.